hold everything, stop the presses. The Star Wars gods have granted us a new trailer on the Eva Kenobi. Let's get into it. <laughs> What up, everybody? It's Mad Max. Welcome to The Brim Truth, where I discuss the latest in TV and movies to help you find what to watch. I'm very excited they gave us this Andor trailer, and I wanted to share it with you. I haven't watched it yet. I really wanted to check it out, but I've been waiting. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a reaction, do this with my people. Appreciate y'all checking in with me. Uh, please, if you have time, because I'd appreciate it, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit a comment. Let me know you came through. All right, now let's get into it. In the words of Al Bundy, let's rock. Okay, what's he doing? Okay, that's right, bring him in. There's a man who loves his job, loves his job, let's go. I always feel better when I see the Lucasfilm logo. Wow. Okay. You know, what's crazy is that looks like some, like, ancient civilization. That don't even look like something that would be set in, like, a Star Wars realm. Star Wars realm. So, like, they're just looking at it. That almost makes you feel like, like, like if we would be looking at it in primitive times. And then you got this BB-8. R2-D2 type droid. Love the little droids, man. I love them. I love when they do that. They're covering up the weapons. Oh, man. <laughs> Debo coming. <laughs> has got to be De Debo coming. They out here sounding alarms and all that. Debo is coming. You ain't gonna just tuck yours in either. Debo is coming. Put all the guns, put all the drugs, all everything, put it away. Oh, and you see, you see the stormtroopers. This must be some other kind of guard. They going door to door, probably randomly just capturing people and and pillaging. Look at it. Look at the guy. Look at the guy over here. Look at the guy over here. He looks like he's pillaging some stuff. They're so proud of themselves. So fat and satisfied. That's right. Keep, you, you, you rang that there gong. You They're watching me now. Okay. Soon enough, these days will end. Yo, soon enough. The, yo, every time, any role he's in, he's just a strong character. It, that's going to be... Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see. So he's Luthen, huh? Okay. Oh, where and where are we? And where are we? There will be no rules going forward. Oh, you can see this destruction. Oh, they're in the Senate now. See, and that's kind of like where I want to get into because you always see what happened with Darth Sidious and all that, but and the Chancellor, but. We, yeah, we got to see what else happened in between stages. We got to see the between stuff. Are standing up. That's what a reckoning sounds like. Reckoning, a.k.a. Revolution. Revolution. I see what's coming here. So you got your you got your poor folks look like they about to revolt against the empire. You got but they don't want to tell nobody. They keeping it on the low cuz until they ready to strike smart move. I mean, but you can't just cover your guns up. Somebody I mean, somebody can easily just look look under the cover. You know what I mean? But you know, it looks it looks strong, looks promising. I mean, not just cuz I'm a Star Wars fan, but just because it, I just the way they embed things into these shows and all. So it's, it's just going to be interesting to see. You know, are we going to see any legacy characters come through? I don't know. But definitely love the drop. Great timing on the drop. Get people excited about that. Get people even more excited about Kenobi. So let me know what y'all think. 
Are y'all right, excited about this? Does it kind of hit the same? I mean, I don't think it's going to hit the same as Kenobi. That's just me personally. Let me know what you think. Let me know all your comments down below. I'd love to talk about it. And we will be back with another review and some more reactions. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss out. All right? So I appreciate you hanging out with me. And until next time, I'm out.